Welcome to another edition of Women Lead TV brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. I'm Michelle Berquist, your host today, and with me is Charles Seda Medina with the Small Business Institute at Cal State Fullerton. So Charles Seda, I have gone through the program at Cal State Fullerton, which is amazing for small business owners. Mm -hmm. Give us a little bit of an overview about what the Small Business Institute does. The Small Business Institute at Cal State Fullerton is, is sort of a quiet little resource for small business. Doesn't want to be so quiet, right? Doesn't want to be so <laughs> quiet, so yay, we're giving it a shout out today. Uh, so what we do is work with close to 100 small businesses each year, and we really help uh, business owners tackle those problems that they have, you know, running their small businesses. It could be um, within which the marketing. Everything. Which is yeah, I'm gonna pick say. a lane. Yeah. It could be marketing. You know, it could be managing your, your human resources, your staff, you know, hiring the right people. You know, there's a there's a science behind all of that. Can I, can I share my experience? I so, would love so to we hear went what through the your program thoughts. through the Small Business Institute. You know, at first I'm thinking, well, what what could they do for right. our business, right? We're a professional association of women, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, here's students. I yes. mean, what would students do for Connected Women of Influence? And what was interesting is we got assigned students that actually took on the project that we were looking for just a different perspective yes. from a marketing standpoint, mm -hmm. from an outreach standpoint, or just something that we really hadn't thought of, of an overall analysis yes. of our organization. And what was interesting, and I'm going to share this, is I know, I know, I call them kids, right? Yeah, I know. But students get assigned to each project, mm -hmm. and we got, we're a women's association, and we got assigned all boys. Oh, man. I'm thinking, yes. what? Oh, young man. Yeah, so here's these boys, right? Um, okay, I can say that. I'm an old Talk about lady. a different perspective. It was totally different. And, and, and the first thing I said to these, these boys was mm -hmm. I said, you know, really, you guys want to take on a women's project? And they were like, they were into it. Why not? I mean, they really got their teeth into it. And so for, from our standpoint, I love the research they did. Yes. I really enjoyed the conclusions and strategies that they maybe gave us. Mm -hmm. Not maybe, they did give us a different perspective. Yes. But um, talk a little bit about the process yes. because I... I couldn't believe the research that went on before we even started working together right. with some of the students. Well, you know, most, and I talk to hundreds of business owners each year, mm -hmm. and many of them start with that same concern. What are these students gonna do? Right. You know what I mean? That I haven't done already. And and really it's, it's about, you know, as a consultant, your job is to uh, get in and understand the industry, right. right? And understand what the problem is and work towards a solution. And so uh, they have to get their hands dirty and they have to know, okay, what is this association about? And how can we help her solve this problem? But see, that was the kind of upshot for us was that when the students came in, I think for small business owners, if I can say this, mm -hmm. that so many business owners, we get so, so stuck in the muck of the day to day. Absolutely. And what I loved about the program was the, the boys, the, the boys and the students came in, yeah. but they did all this research that I could have never dedicated the time, funds and people time and all of it. And it was fascinating because it's what really mm -hmm. needs to be done at every level and stage of growing a business. Absolutely. And we hadn't done it in quite a few years. And a lot of business owners have great ideas, but they don't have the time to do their due diligence to make sure that it is the right, right. Uh, strategy or direction that they should be going. Mm -hmm. And so what a business student team does, it gives you that, it sort of bridges the gap. It mm -hmm. provides you with that, um, you know, that additional sort of manpower to kind of get in there, you know, figure out what's what, and then present to you an option, you know, and then you make a decision whether this is something you right. want to do or and, not. And it did. There were some pretty powerful things that came from it. I'm hoping you can give a little bit mm -hmm. more of an overview. Yes. What's the process like? I mean, how do it is, uh, businesses it, get picked? Absolutely. It is. Let me interrupt you again. I'm so sorry. It's really, it's what I do. <laughs> So, like I said, working with 100 businesses a year, we're always looking for uh, small businesses to participate. And it begins simply with a conversation. Sometimes small businesses are referred to me, which I absolutely love. Um, and, you know, we do a lot of, of marketing to small businesses. Mm -hmm. And we it starts with a conversation. Right. My job is to sort of figure out where can we serve you at within our program? We've got a number of different classes. Do you do an interview with businesses? I do. I we do. knew each other. We so knew each other, easy. so that was a little yeah, bit easier. Yeah. But uh, often it, what it does is it starts with, like I said, uh, an, a conversation. So mm -hmm. they might get request information about the program. 
I'll provide that and then we'll schedule a call. Then I get to have more of a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the business owner to figure out, okay, well, you have a strategy need or you know, you're looking to grow your company from a million in revenue to five million. Mm -hmm. What are the things that you need to do um, to accomplish that? Well, we have a, a strategy class at the graduate level that can really work wow. with those businesses to help achieve that goal. How do the how do the students um, do they bid on different businesses? Is it like a raffle? I mean, you how know, do they it's, how do it, they it get assigned? And it, why did we get boys? But that's right. another whole subject. So. It can be it can be different in each class. That sort of depends on how the faculty decides to assign the project. But typically, what happens? And again, I'm a graduate of the entrepreneurship program, so I did mm -hmm. go through this process as a student. Right. And typically what happens is, you know, you've got maybe six clients presented within a classroom and students will have a preference. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And so they, they, get they might about... say, this, these are my top three. Oh. And so they might cultivate a team based on the interest level of each uh, student. And, um, and then they, they work together over 13 weeks uh, to really identify a scope of work for the client, mm -hmm. do that research uh, and develop some you know, actionable recommendations for the client. They present at the end of the semester. There were, there were two things I loved the most. One was the, the interview at yes. the very beginning yes. with all of the team. Yes. And so I actually went to a meeting and had, here's again, all the guys, and they were asking rapid fire questions mm -hmm. all about our history, our background, what we do. Right. Um, that was fascinating. And then just to see the level of research and some of that interaction mm -hmm. where then I went to actually a couple of classes. Ah, and so yeah. I got to meet some of the, the ongoing projects that were going on and yes. saw some of the other business owners that were there as well. Mm -hmm. And they kind of shared, hey, here's some more detailed questions we've got. And <laughs> they kind of shared where they were at. And I thought it was fascinating it's a just great to watch. process mm -hmm. to really get them, you know, out of the classroom really and engaged mm -hmm. in working in business. You I know. love it. Um, and Obviously, the student teams are supported by an amazing network of mentors that volunteer for our program, uh, and as well as resources uh, such as SCORE, um, and then the Center for Entrepreneurship and the staff. That's what I do. So not only do I get to place the businesses within the classrooms, but I also get to help mentor the student team along the semester when they come in and they're like, okay, okay. where are we at? What your, are we doing? Your eyes light up when you start talking about small I, businesses. There's I a little passion it. there. I mean, Just what, a little. how did you? get into working with the Small Business Institute because wow. you've been there a while. I have been. What's your passion? What's my passion? Well, you know, my passion was discovered while I was earning my undergraduate degree in business administration uh, with an emphasis in entrepreneurship. Okay. So I began working in the center as a student. And, uh, you know, like most entrepreneurs, you tend to leap. Um, and somebody <laughs> asked me to, to take on a project. Okay. And I said yes not knowing any, having any experience. I just knew I could figure it out. Mm. And that was the Orange County Networking Directory. Oh, that's right, that's right, because you took that on. I took that on yeah. and uh, it became my new venture project. So tell a little bit about what the San Diego, or the Orange County Networking Directory was. It was the Bible for me back in the early it 90s. Was. But I'm dating myself a little bit. So. Yeah, yeah. And then 2008. <laughs> yes, exactly, it resurfaced all yeah. of a sudden. So that was a resource uh, in Orange County that uh, was yeah. a book that brought together over 600 different <laughs> books. It yes, it was a like, book. Like paper. Like, like the Thomas paper. Guide, yes, right? A map. Yes. Um, now you're dating yourself. I, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> so it was a book of uh, all of the, a number of organizations and associations, chambers. Chamber, right? Yeah, any group or organization that met regularly um, and it was used by, you know, sales teams and, yeah. you know, people that just wanted to get connected within Orange County. Well, they asked me to take that project on and I said yes. So that sort of introduced me into the world of networking as a student. Um, and, you know, that's sort of where it all began with me. And of course, fast forward, you know, they, I had the opportunity to take on the role uh, that I'm in now. And I love it because I found a passion in working with small businesses. Right. And dare I say it, I love women owners and uh, entrepreneurs. And that is yes. just my passion and who I, I, I spend my time and effort and energies to support. Let's call that lady power. We like yes. that. I like lady power. I'm going to go to the hashtag. <laughs> hashtag lady power. Lady power. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. That's so it. So that's, that's how I kind of came into it. And again, having 
uh, gone through the program as a student. You know, mm -hmm. I had a, a real understanding of the value from both the student aspect right. as well as the value that the, the, the clients received. So here's a power question. Yes. Do you have ideas of being an entrepreneur yourself? I mean, once you yeah. if you see all these businesses doing this, do you kind of think, hey, I'm I'm ready to start a business you someday? Know, yeah, ideas? You, it's it's interesting because alongside my role there, I've been in direct sales building my own business mm. outside um, for 14 years. Oh, wow. So it, it, the skill set that is required is is the same. Right. You know, you got to market, you've got to attract new customers, you've got to keep your current customers happy. Right. Do you know what I mean? So all those things that, you know, entrepreneurs that have a product or a service, I've been doing it already for 14 years. I love that. What, what do you see as some of the prime things that business owners come to the mm -hmm. Small Business Institute for? I mean, what, mm -hmm. what is their need, struggle? You know, there's got to be something that's, that's pretty common yeah. among most of them. Well, they all go, I need marketing help because I want more sales. <laughs> That's usually where the conversation starts. And um, but so many things feed into that. If but you there's do, right? so many yeah. things, and that's why it's important to have the the dialogue because mm -hmm. uh, you know after a you know a 45 minute conversation with the client, uh, they might think they need marketing and increase their sales, but they may not have the infrastructure to support that increase in right. sales. So I might recommend another. Uh, area first mm -hmm. and then follow up with the marketing engagement but let's the, let's look at the operations of your business first to make sure that you it can can withstand that growth do you know that's what good. i mean yeah, because point. oftentimes we want more and more faster quicker right. but if you're not set up to manage that you're you're setting yourself up for failure that's and that's funny. what we don't want business yeah owners you want to do. you want more business but can you handle the but growth, can you right? handle the growth yeah, absolutely you know a, a question if people are interested yes. in finding out about the small business institute how mm -hmm. do they reach you what do you want to share it's like shout out to where www what <laughs> www <laughs> how would i do this i'm going to provide you with my direct contact information and Ooh. so you know hey this is this is where it's at, right? Let's find you. Come talk to me directly, and I'd be happy to, to entertain conversations with anybody that um, may be interested in learning more. Mm -hmm. And it may or may not be for you. That's totally fine. But I guarantee you, you probably know of a small business that could benefit from what we do. So you can reach me directly at area code 657-278-8243 or you can shoot me an email at cymedina at fullerton.edu and that's c-y-m-e-d-i-n-a at fullerton.edu. That was so precise. I really enjoyed that. You know, one thing we didn't talk about, and yes. then we're going to wrap up, is is there a fee for it? It's a um, yes, my very reduced fee. But yes. share a little bit about. Absolutely, the Center for Entrepreneurship and the Small Business Institute. We are a nonprofit organization, so um, many people think we get state funding. We do not. So we do charge a small fee uh, that ranges anywhere from a thousand dollars up to six thousand dollars, and that depends on a couple of things: the revenue of your business mm -hmm. and the area of focus that you choose okay. so um, feel free to contact me to learn more or to, to you know it's get reasonable. some additional information so again a 13-week engagement these student teams spend 150 200 hours of time in research mm -hmm. um, to come up with your uh, recommendations so it is well worth the investment very cool I think so too I want to do it again so yes anyways, thank you for joining us on women lead TV we will be back for another edition and we'll be back for another powerhouse interview with other female leaders thanks awesome. for joining us